Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon everybody. I hope you find this video very helpful too. Today I'm going to give you a quick review on this router. TP-Link AX1800 Dual Band Wi-Fi Router HIX23. Without further ado, let us quickly open this box and see what is inside this router. This is how it looks like the cover and this is some quick manual from the cover. So let us open now and see what is inside this beautiful pattern. You stay here and you come here. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, before then, I love taking the manual. This is the manual. It gets some more information about the router and everything, some configuration and what you need to know. It comes uh, with a, a router adapter, I think is 12 volt. This is the charger. You can see it clearly. And we have the router completely. But before then, we have the networking cable. This is the RG45 cable. So this is the router.
So now we will go to the IP address 192.168.0.1 or you can use the TP link Wi-Fi.net. So you create a very secure password which uh, must be 60 to 32 character long, must contain at least two types of the following letter, number and symbol. So now I will put my password. Okay. I will confirm the password. Okay, then let's get started. Okay, now the password has been set successfully. So I will log in now. Here you will uh, change the time zone. But before then, I'm using the router mode as access point, not a router. So I'll change it to access point and click OK. Upon click OK, my router needs to reboot. So my router will now reboot. This link. Yes, it's up and running. <laughs> And then I'll put my password. Okay. I log into my router. Here there is Smart Connect. When you enable Smart Connect, it means that you have tell the router to use two access points, 5G and the 4G. So it will automatically select which one is best for you when you are connecting. That means when you have two devices, one have the 4G capability and one have 5G. So the router will automatically select the best band for your device. So I will give my network uh, name, SSID name, fiber.com. I will change the password later because I don't require it. I already manage my security from my main microtic router. So you see here you have the 2.4G and the 5G. So we have the internet. For now, I will skip this. I will go to the wireless. I will change this to none. As I told you earlier, I have my security behind my main router. So you see the router has also the guest uh, network feature. Well, let's schedule when your network should be on or off. And it has the WPS button. I think you saw it from the back of the router. It also some, have some additional settings. From certain notes, I think I will do is the time zone because if you did not uh, set the time zone, maybe you want your router to turn on or off me uh, so it might use the friend time zone instead of your own so i'll save this operation succeeded okay then last but not the least i will come to the internet i will click on static then i will change this to my ip 172.16 dot one one dot let me see my last ip from the range i have 61 so this one will be dot 62 my absolute max will be two by five dot two by five dot zero dot zero my gateway is one seven two dot one six dot zero dot one okay now i will save my settings so now when I set the save the setting, the new IP address will be used to access the web management page from now on. So I click OK. So for me to access this router, I need to go to my uh, network settings. When I go to my network settings, here yeah, from the settings, network, Ethernet, IP address assignment. Then I change this to manual. So this will be 172.16, uh, sorry, 16.11.2, 255.255.0.0. I don't need to put the gateway. So now when I go back to my router, it will automatically redirect me to the link. So if I said 172.62, right? 
so I could be able to access my router now. Okay, the issue is because I'm connected to my wireless network, so I will disable my wireless network. So boom, I'm accessing my router now. So now I will disable this IP address assignment uh, to DHCP automatic. Then I will connect my router with my Mikrotik to put an IP address. Where is my web page? Okay. So now I cannot access my. Okay, because I already have the IP address. So still the system have the settings already. So when I go to IP config, so you see I already have the IP address because uh, it's, uh, the system has been assigned. So now we, I will disconnect the internet and I will connect my router directly to the modem and see how fast this router is. Okay. So now my router is up and running. So I will connect to the internet, fiber.com. Okay, it's already connected because my laptop already connected to this. So I will go to speed test .net. Then I will click go. Go, 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 go. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So you see the internet speed for the 5G band because I'm using the 5G device. This laptop is 5G device. So I'll make some review about this laptop also. Oh, wow, wow, wow. So you see I'm getting almost, almost 700 megabit per second. Why? Because I think the network is not fluid now. But normally I get something around 300, 400. So this is for the 5G band. Let us run the test again. Boom. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, oh, oh. So that is the best thing about this TP Link AS1800 Wi Fi band, uh, dual band router. This is a Wi Fi 6 router technology. So if you are searching for a good router, don't miss this router, okay? Don't miss it. Don't ever let this go. So if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe. If you are if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Support by subscribing, it means something to me. It takes me a while to configure, to take, to uh, set up this, and to make the video. So I will be giving more and more content in this channel concerning networking and other things. Thank you.